hello my loves hello to bees i'm tifa and welcome to my channel it's nice to have you here in today's video i'm going to be taking you through my skincare routine i want to state that i have dry skin and the skin concern i'm treating is hyperpigmentation so all the products i'm going to be listing or stating in this video are targeted towards improving that the first thing i do is cleanse my skin there are two cleansers that i use presently the first one is the simple refreshing facial wash and the second one is the relax therapy acne control face wash they are very gentle they don't strip my skin they don't make my skin feel more dry they are very hydrating and for someone with dry skin that is something i'm very particular about there is a misconception about cleansers in nigeria most people feel that cleansers are those stuff that you put on cutting pad and dab on your skin those are toners not cleansers let's break it down mm -hmm. what does it mean to cleanse to cleanse means to wash to remove dirt so how are you washing your face by putting stuff on cutting pad or cutting wool and dabbing them on your skin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do you get do you get yeah so the standard time to wash your face is 60 seconds be gentle take your time don't use sponge your fingers are enough don't use african black soap to wash your face please don't use the soap that you use for your body to wash your face don't use the towel don't use the towel i beg you in the name of god please also there are different type of cleansers for different skin types and different skin concerns so it's important for you to do your research and know which cleanser is best for you i already cleansed my face that's why my face looks a little damp and dry and white the next step is toner but i don't have a toner so i'm not going to be using a toner most people feel like toners are not necessary but i think that they can be a great addition to your skincare especially hydrating toners because they help to repair your skin barrier they help to balance your skin ph the skin has a particular ph and because of all these products that we use all these acids it can distort our skin ph a toner will help you to balance that also they just open our skin up for the incoming products to set in. the next on my skin routine is essence i use the advanced the corsarex advanced nail routine essence this essence has like a slimy watery dry type of texture it is very hydrating very very hydrating for everybody dry skin oily skin hydration is important hydration is very very important hydration just helps you lock in moisture it brings moisture into your skin it makes your skin look soft it makes your skin look plump it gives you that healthy glow from within it repairs your skin if your skin is inflamed or it is irritated it calms your skin it goes a long way in improving hyperpigmentation it calms your acne invest in hydration hydrating toners hydrating essence just hydrate i'm going to be using like three pumps of this essence and working it into my skin next thing on my routine are serums i use two serums both of which are targeted towards helping to improve my hyperpigmentation that is these two serums are like the things that i am using for hyperpigmentation the first one is the vitamin b3 serum from tm the main ingredients are niacinamide and alpha abutin this serum has a runny stroke watery texture or consistency this serum is very gentle very gentle for the skin i'm going to be using like two three drops max and i'm going to work it into my skin most of these products that i use they are very gentle on the skin i'm a soft babe i deserve gentleness next serum is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum the main ingredients are niacinamide and trisonamic acid this serum has like a foamy cloudy look show consistency it is also very gentle i'm going to be using like four drops three drops max work this two into my skin this one is also very gentle as you can see i didn't allow the dropper to touch my face when i was applying this this is a very common mistake that we all make you are indirectly taking tiny impurities from your skin back into the product and contaminating your product you don't want that also please apply your products on your neck 
I'm going to allow all that product to sit into my skin. I forgot to say that if you are treating hyperpigmentation, you need to combine products and because these ingredients will not work alone. If you use like one at a time, it is not strong enough to counter the hyperpigmentation that you are trying to clear. So you have to combine them. The last thing I use for my hyperpigmentation, it is the Azanic Azelaic Acid 20% Azelaic Acid Gel. This Azelaic Acid Gel has like a paste-like consistency. When you put it into your skin, it just feels like you are rubbing cream. I target it towards the places that I have like hyperpigmentation mostly. Before, I used to use the Ordinary Azelaic Acid, but it's, the percentage was too low to treat my hyperpigmentation. The remaining hyperpigmentation I have are very stubborn hyperpigmentation, like very stubborn sunburns and acne scars. So I need a higher percent of Azelaic Acid to treat it. Be very careful when you're using this Azelaic Acid Gel if you are going to use it because it's dermatology recommended. So you have to be careful about how you use it. Let's talk about the ingredients for a while. If you've noticed, the active ingredients I've mentioned so far are Azelaic Acid, Alpha Abutin, Niacinamide, and Trezanamic Acid. These are the things that these ingredients do. Hyperpigmentation, acne, bumpy skin, smooth texture, uneven texture, blah blah blah. Obviously, these are not the only ingredients that you can use to treat all the skin concerns. For example, for acne, you should look out for ingredients that have salicylic acid, mandelic acid, um, benzoic peroxide, and so on. For hyperpigmentation, you can use kojic acid, vitamin C. The point is to know your skin concern, know the ingredients that are going to work towards improving that skin concern, and look for those ingredients in products. So because Tifa is using TM serum or good molecules discoloration serum does not mean that you should use it too as far as you know that oh i need niacinamide i need trezanamic acid i think those are the ingredients that will help to improve these skin concerns that i have it is important that you look for them in products and you use those products what works for me might not necessarily work for you we have different skin concerns we have different skin types so it is important to do your research and know what will work best for you next on my routine is moisturizer i have three moisturizers not like i want to have them all. <laughs> i have two normally i have the cetaphil moisturizer and another moisturizer from relax therapy then the last one was a gift from a store that i just got my skincare from which is the cosarex all-in-one cream for the essence of this video i'm going to be using the cosarex all-in-one cream this cream has a slimy dry consistency and it is very hydrating am i surprised yes because why 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 are you so good but at the same time i'm not surprised because Cosarex is a Korean brand and I use their essence already. The brand is fabulous and they are very concerned about smooth, glass-like, hydrated, moisturized skin. So they know what they are going for. They know what they are doing, Sha. I'm going to be using just very tiny because it's daytime and I'm still going to use sunscreen. My skin already looks smooth, my skin already looks soft, my skin already looks good, and that is what we want. Something about moisturizer, especially for people that have oily skin, you might be thinking that, oh, I sweat a lot, my skin produces a lot of oil, so I'm not going to moisturize. My skin is already like moisturizing itself. That is bad advice because if you don't moisturize your skin, your skin is going to do reverse psychology on you. It is going to overcompensate for that by producing more oil. Your skin is going to produce more oil. And do you want that? Do you need that? No. I mean, if you moisturize, your skin will produce less oil. Your skin will do you good and produce less oil. The next and the last thing in this routine is sunscreen. I use the Black Girl sunscreen. I used to use Misha Aqua sunscreen. But, and it was so wonderful, but it is tiny for that price it's like six five seven thousand and it's just tiny in like three weeks that's finished <laughs> please so this black girl sunscreen is a little bit more even if it is pricey so i know that i'll use it for a longer time than the misha aqua but if you want to go for if you want to buy the misha aqua you can't it's a very amazing sunscreen but presently i use the black girl sunscreen 
this sunscreen has a paste like consistency it looks like paste cream it looks thick but trust me when you put it on your skin it does not feel heavy there is a two finger rule for sunscreen to me i don't necessarily do that i feel like depending on the sunscreen because some sunscreen are very very heavy and some are lightweight so you can use two fingers for some and you will feel okay there's no such thing as too much sunscreen but it can get uncomfortable If you are into skincare, if you are doing anything skincare and you don't use your sun sunscreen, don't even bother. Like, don't start at all, don't bother. You are just wasting your time. Because most of these products that you are using, they will even write it on it. It will make your skin more sensitive to, your, to the sun. So please use your sunscreen. So why are you not using your sunscreen? Like, most of these things that we are using to clear acne, clear up pigmentation, they will make your skin more sensitive to the, to the sun. To make your skin more sensitive to the sun. Ah! So when you step out, you have to counter that by wearing your sunscreen. So if you are not doing that, I don't know what you are doing. It is also important for you to reapply it every two two hours. I exfoliate once a week, once or twice. I use the Neutrogena Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Toner because it has salicylic acid. And salicylic acid is a chemical exfoliant. There are different types of chemical exfoliants. Salicylic acid, there is lactic acid, there is glycolic acid, there are a lot. There is also physical exfoliation which is scrub, but I am not a fan. The normal way for you to apply your skincare is in this pattern, from the lightest to the heaviest. If you are not treating acne or hyperpigmentation, the basic skincare is cleanser, moisturizer and sunscreen. If you are not treating anything, you have perfect skin, just have this. Skincare is not gender based, my boys, do skincare, do skincare, collect your, you have skin too now, don't you, collect your sister's sunscreen still your girlfriend's cleanser skincare is very expensive if it is an investment that is why it is important to start small especially if you are if you are just starting start small start with the basics cleanser moisturizer sunscreen don't go and buy all the products in the market you also have to be patient you have to be very patient with yourself a skin concern can take like months to clear years if maybe there is no such thing as a product that will clear your skin in seven days that's why i don't endorse organic skincare i know i already mentioned one in this video and that's like the only one i can boast about presently because i've used that product and she knows what she's putting in her product she even tell you the ingredients these are the ingredients that are in the products and you know like when you just use it it is very gentle most of these organic skincare, sorry to say, but they don't know what they are doing and they are deceivers, they are liars. They will not write ingredients there. If they don't write ingredients on any product you are buying, it is a red flag, don't buy it. If there's any product that says that your acne will clear in seven days, your upper fermentation will clear in a month, don't mind them. Not, not, nothing like that happens. Some of them don't even know what they are mixing together. Some of them don't know what is in their product. You use their products and then it will sting your face, your face will be burning. You feel that, oh, maybe because my acne is serious, it is working, it is a lie. Anything that you use that stings your face is a red flag, don't use it. All the products that you use on your face should be gentle. For places that you can get your skincare, I'm going to recommend three stores on Instagram. The first one is Buy Better. They are like the cheapest I've seen on Instagram in Nigeria so far. Just that they are usually almost always sold out. So you have to be on stand, but I'm very sure if you go to their page now and check for a product you want to buy, it's probably out of stock. So you have to be on standby for like two weeks. You have to be going there every day to check if this product is available or is out of stock or they've restocked it. But it's like the best, the cheapest price. Their prices are very cheap. The next one is Chop with Sika for this one, they are a little bit pricey, just a little bit more pricey, but they usually have products available. Then the last one, I don't know how to pronounce the store's name, is this store. Their products are on the more expensive side, but it's usually available and their delivery is fast and sensible. For anybody that is wanting to go into skincare or anybody that wants to be knowledgeable about skincare, or even when you are doing your research, when you want to buy your product, I think that you should follow pages that educate i'm going to recommend somebody on instagram i'll link her instagram page in the description box so you should check it out she's very knowledgeable about skincare she educates she breaks things down into simple forms and she also recommends products i also want to say that many things affect our skin our lifestyle the things that we eat you have to eat good things 
put good things in your body and you see it in your skin some of us if you should go through small stress like this but baby girls if you go through small stress like this you will break out so you have to consider all that you have to put that in mind also like things like your lifestyle things like if you use one pillowcase for three weeks there's no how you will break out oil from your hair oil sweat everything will just enter your skin and cause you to break out so you have to be very mindful of all these things genetics is also a very important aspect some people just have flawless skin and you cannot compare yourself to them be patient with yourself your skin will get better your skin will improve what works for me might not work for you so do your research do your research do your research um we all have flaws they don't matter they are not meant to matter you are beautiful just the way you are i hope i've been able to educate you a little bit more in this video if there's any question you have or something that you want to know you can ask me in the comments i'll do well to answer you this is the most chaotic video i've ever had to film i just hope it comes out good i really appreciate you watching to this point you are beautiful you are handsome i love you i'll see you in my next video